Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Ben with KCT and I uh, just want to go through a quick video for you, real quick. Talk about our sponsors. Obviously, we've got Breek Arms. We've got... <laughs> you gotta add them all. We got MFT, we got V7, all that whole nine stuff. You guys check it out. It's all in the, <laughs> in the fine print at the bottom. Sorry, it's getting late. Guys, I was on the internet last night. I posted this, this flashlight mount and I got mocked pretty hard. On the internet, I know, I know, I was, I was there, and they made fun of me. They said, your mount's whack, your mount sucks, your mount is way too far away from the barrel. Uh, they said, why don't you get a, get a cloud defensive, huh? Well, get, you know, it's like, you're poor, you know, I bet you've got PSA lowers. All right. One guy just kept typing in, like, radian in all caps, I don't know what that was all about. It's really weird. But, I mean, they're kind of right. This is not... <laughs> it's not the most low pro weapon my mount ever. So I was doing some work with a V block the other day, and I remember what I hate and what I like about it. I hate the fact that it's just what it is. I mean, it's it's big and clunky. It's not it's not really what we're looking for in today's standards. Let me see right up there. There you go. Um, but if you go back to when it was created, it was you know made to put a handheld flashlight on top of a gun reasonably well and make it go. I thought it was awesome. It said mag pull inside of it, you know, so I was like, all right, man, high speed, ready to go. Yeah. And then it's the mocking, there's emails, bro. I got stuff in my inbox. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to, had to leave the chat room. So <sighs> primary and secondary is a scary place after 5 p.m., guys. Really fucking scary. Hey, watch out for that Paul Popoff guy, too. He's nuts. All right, so what did I do? So I had to go home and cry, which I did. Actually, I was at home. Okay, so I got even. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I did, and uh, I'll tell you why I did it. And so again, look at this. Yes, it says way the fuck off the rail. It's supposed to be nice and low key, but again, that is if you have a scout mount, it's meant to use the V block if you have to. But if you have a scout mounted light, um, works a lot better than what I have because it's way too high. So let's take a look at what we want to do next. So, a lot of you guys may know, um, uh, kind of got a thing for Missy on that. Um, she's kind of my, my tactical spirit animal. Yeah, there we go. And uh, her and I have talked a lot about rifles, if you can believe it. She gave me some pretty awesome tips, but she wasn't available the night that I was on the internet getting mocked. Me to drink some iced tea, and so I didn't have her. All I had was one of her records. I listened for some inspiration, I listened for some good words to teach me how to get tactical on this thing again. And then I heard the phrase that pays when she said, I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it, and that made me think. So, the first thing I did. Pull that light out. Then, then, oh yes, and then when I had back this out. Okay, so it's off now. What did I do then? Well, you'll see. So the light rings are gonna leave as they are. I'm gonna back these uh screws out here real quick and I'll show you. So then, so then I put these screws in backwards. So yes, you will see them in backwards. You'll see the screw heads where the self camming T-nuts would be. Don't worry about it. This will make sense in just one moment. And then I used the 12 o'clock position of the rail on my gun. Now, at this point, we have put our thing down. The light, if it was still in there, would be going backwards. But now we've flipped it, and we've truly reversed it. So let's go ahead and toss that light in there. Now, what I like about this is 
you have the access to the screws for the slide on the other side so that you don't have to sit there and fart around with taking the mount off when you want to tighten down the screws or loosen it up or whatever you feel like doing. And there you have it, a light mount that is so low profile you can't even see it from one side of the gun. Guys, I think that's a pretty sweet deal. Um, Missy, thank you so much for being my tactical spirit animal and telling me that this is the way. So anyways guys, hopefully you like that video. Um, if you have an, a V-Block and a Magpul offset and lock mount, you too can do this at home if you have a 12 o'clock rail slot that is available for you to use. I'm sure you can find something else to do that. Guys, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Talk some shit in the comments, and I will talk to you later.